How's it going, ladies and bruises? I'm Bobby Sixkill, and welcome back to The Good Life. This time, the fully released game, but it was nice enough, just like the last campfire, to let us continue from where we left off in the demo. So, uh, here we are, where we left off at the end of the demo. The demo will be part one of the full playthrough now, and this is going to be part two, so let's get back in, shall we? Because I can't remember what the fuck we were doing. Investigate the Shroud on the Hill, speak with John Berry, man. You know, I feel like <laughs> I, I'm going to need some, uh reminders of what the crap of what we uh, need to be doing because I don't really remember what do we got here rainy woods info hub top of the morning to you from rainy woods info hub if you keep walking east from rainy woods you'll soon find yourself in the tiny fishing fishing village of Eccles yes but like the cake Eccles used to be a tourism hotspot so people gave rainy woods a run for its money but now it enjoys a more peaceful existence. Isolated from its neighbouring towns, it retains naught but a glimmer of its past popularity. So lucky you, dear reader, that you should get to find out about it in this newsletter. For the lake situated to the south of Eccles, Rosu Water supplies the village with a bevy of fish, delicious fish unlike any other. If you're in the mood for a spot of luxury, fish and chips, hop on over to Eccles. But don't go snapping photos of your social media profile and leave your meal unfinished. Not only is it rude, but potatoes and batter aren't good for the birds, who will gobble up anything you leave behind. Churlish manners will not be tolerated. Hello bakers and welcome to Rainy Woods Info Hub's special feature on Happy Scones. And if you haven't had the chance to try one of Miss Janie's Happy Scones, where have you been? Warm, crumbly and not a soggy bottom in sight. And to top it all off, it's said that these scones have the power to summon happiness to whoever eats them. What more could you want? Miss Jan peddles her scones as she travels around town, so be sure to track her down before they're all gone. Indeed. Okay, well, I guess we're going to go see John Berry, man. So, it's been a while since I played the demo, but from what I remember, we turned into a cat. <laughs> and then found a thing uh, in in the church clock tower thing. Whatever, we'll get back to it. It's, it's fine, I'll figure out what's going on. Right, I'm excited, man. I really want to know what's going on in this game. Because there's no way you'll be able to pick it, because Swery is a strange person. Which is why I like him so much. <laughs> okay, so he he's... Oh, that's right! We need to get a new camera lens, or a new camera, a fancy camera. Something like that. Yes! John! Hey, John! Hey! See the fancy photographer from the city, huh? I got your order. <laughs> Oh good, let's cut right to the chase then. Here you are. I finished tuning her up, so she's all ready to go. Old standard camera. No special it features, but it can get most jobs done. It's old though, so you'll need to be careful. Seriously? This is a used camera. God damn it! Morning Bell could easily buy me a brand new one with all the money they're hoarding. Well, no. All right, all right. No need to get your knickers in a twist about it. I prefer the term refurbished, and she'll do a bloody good job. How could you complain about such a cutie pie? Hmm? Cutie pie? <laughs> That's right, gadgets are all cute in their own ways, especially delicate, complicated sweeties like that camera. Now don't worry, I'll be here to fix her up if she ever gets any bumps, bruises or upsets of any kind. So be nice to her, will you? She's your work partner now. Trying to guilt trip me, huh? Fine, whatever. I'll see how far I can get with this lady. <laughs> now you're talking. You can purchase cameras and lenses at John's shop and equipping different cameras at any time, pressing the menu button and accessing the camera portion of the main menu. You want a telephoto lens to capture far away things and a wide angle lens to capture more subjects at once. Use, cam use cameras are cheap, but they also break easily. When this happens, you have to go to John to fix it. Oh crap, that's actually going to happen? It's actually going to break? Examine the shrines on the hill. Got it. I forgot to grab the information about what I need to take photos of today. But uh, that's okay. Wait, can I have a look at the map? Oh yeah, that's right. Can I zoom in? No, but that's okay. We got this. Wait, I see a thing. Yes. A sandy caterpillar. How did you know that's what I wanted? All my life I've been looking for the sandy caterpillar and now, finally, it's mine. I need a bicycle, man. This is far. <laughs> this is where we went before. Ready. I forgot what the buttons are for everything. Wait, how do I zoom? 
play hot words. Here we go. Uh, beer and yummy food. Rats. Just want meat. Thick, colder ladies. Thick, older ladies. Thick, older ladies. Antiques. That's very strange. Thick, older ladies. I don't think I've ever heard that phrase before. <laughs> I'm getting hungry too. Investigate the shrine on the hill. At least he wants me to take pictures of Elizabeth Dickens, the girl's in charge of- Okay, we should do that too. Oh, and Shutter Junkie. Take 30 pictures, okay, that's easy enough. But once we ex check this out, we should take pictures of the specific people we mean to take pictures of. Hmm, so this is the shrine. Interesting. Very interesting. Nope, I'm stumped. These are probably cats and dogs, huh? And that's like a full moon or a new moon, maybe. A shrine dedicated to cats, dogs, and moons. It smells like a mystery, all right. It looks so old, though. As old as Stonehenge? Nah, it can't be that old. Mm. Yeah, I know what it is. I remember hearing about it in art class. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Celtic. This is Celtic style. Mm. Wait, no, maybe it isn't. Ugh, whatever, it looks Celtic, so it's Celtic. End of story. Now hurry up and snap a shot of it so I can send it off already. Cat dog shrines. <laughs> cat dog, cat dog. Exist all over rainy woods. If you make an offering at a shrine, it will initiate you. Which will allow you to fast travel to any other shrine you've been initiated at. Oh, well that's handy. We did know that though, I believe. Uh-oh. It's here again. When did you get here, girl? When somebody stands in the middle of Stonehenge, where do they actually stand? Inside Stonehenge? Or outside? That makes no sense. Right. And that's alright. You can barge into someone's living room all you like, but that won't teach you everything there is to know about them. That's all I'm trying to say. You're a cryptic one, alright. But now that you are here, girl, mind telling me what went down that night? You know, the night when everyone in town got together and decided to have some freaky cat and dog party? How come you were the only one who didn't join in? Hmm? My, that's a strange question to ask. Oh? Then let me be frank. I was hired to come here and uncover all the dark secrets you're hiding in this little town. So just tell me the truth. You know about all this town's mysteries and secrets, don't you? <laughs> you're rather direct, aren't you, Miss Hayward? Hmm. But I can't tell you just yet, after all. You haven't made the necessary preparations. Preparations? What do I need to do? Why, it's simple. Just bring me what I need. One rubber sheet, and two pieces of patchwork leather. Huh? You want me to go find that stuff for you? <laughs> sharp as always, Miss Hayward. Yeah. Well, of course I'm sharp. You think an idiot could survive New York? You should be able to have the materials crafted for you at McAvoy Mc Construction. I'll finish this stupid fetch quest before you know what hits you. Right. Music to my ears. I knew I could count on you. We need to eat something. We're hungry. Alright, we investigated the shrine on the hill. Running, leaping, hopping, what? Shoes. Have Douglas create the necessary materials. I will, but first, let's uh, prioritize this VIP photo thing. Will that point us to where those people are? Everyone in town is a member of either Team Cat or Team Dog. You can tell who's on what team by looking at the icons next to their names. The townspeople will say different things to you depending on the position of Naomi's DC gauge, which changes depending on offerings made to the shrines, the quest you complete, and the first time per day you play with people as a cat, dog, or the first time per day you interact with a cat or dog form villager as a human. Some people only offer side quests to you if you're on their team, so when in doubt, try switching sides and talking to specific people again. Okay. Uh, it doesn't tell me where they are though. Who have we got? William Dickens and Rita Barrett. Oh, there's, really, there's Rita Barrett right there. Boom. Uh, photo please, Mrs. Barrett. Can I get a zoom? Alright, that's Rita Barrett. Now I just need William Dickens, wherever the hell that is. Do I have to upload them to Flamingo or whatever the crap it was called? I'm guessing so. So we'll find William Dickens and we'll head to the McAvoy construction as well. And that way, we'll get something done, I suppose. Man, I love this town. This is fun. <laughs> this place is great. 
I want to be on Team Cat all the way. I mean, I'm already on Team Cat, but I'm definitely more of a cat person than a dog person in real life as well. So, uh... No offense to those dog people out there watching right now, but... I'm a bit of a cat person. Alright, William Dickens. I don't know what he does or where he works. 1977? Yeah, that's right. That lady. I remember. We got Bruno Evans, Clay McCauley. Right. Who are you, lady? Hey. I'm Naomi Hayward, a photographer from, from New oh. York. Whatever, I'm Clay McCauley. Emma and Charlotte are my best friends. Good to know. Alright, where's this, uh, McAvoy construction then? Can we zoom in? That's right, we can't. <laughs> Burley's Farm, Merchant, John's, Fancy and Bunny, Happy Scones. Okay, where the hell is it? White Estate, the Macaulay Residence. Oh, there. McAvoy Construction. Sort of north. That way? I really don't know how we get to that, but uh, maybe it's up here. Oh, here. I walked past it, didn't I? Like an idiot. Of course, Beetle. In here? In the big doors. Where the hell's Mr. McAvoy? McAvoy. Surely we're here for that. Uh, quest. Oh, it just materialized him. Well, that's How handy. Jesus Christ, he's in full plate armor. He looks awesome. Can I get armor? Good day, I'm Douglas McAvoy, the premier carpenter of this hamlet. Hey. Uh, hi, you got a pretty squeaky voice considering how big that armor is. Mm -hmm. Whooping wouldst only serve to harass my neighbors, I fear. I need only thine ears now. You. The path we walk shall be long and arduous one. Prithee, lend me thy strength, now me Hayward. What? Mm -hmm. How may I help thee? I need some materials. Hey. I heard I can buy stuff here. Mm -hmm. Forsooth. But alas, fleshy mortals may not simply pluck materials from the stuff of dreams. I need one rubber sheet and two pieces of patchwork leather. Hmm. Aye, in order to craft thy rubber sheet, I shall first require turbid sap. The elusive tree blood might be easily procured in the witch's forest. For patchwork leather, I shall require small animal hides, which may be ripped from the bodies of rats and vermin akin. Hmm. Dost thou fashion thyself a hunter? No. How do I get that? Hmm. Hast thou suffered a change of heart? So be it. Prithee return when thou art prepared. How do I kill small animals? There's a small animal. Kill it. Humans and dogs just don't move fast enough to catch. Oh, because we need to a cat. This seems your new choice. Press LT as a cat and activate animal vision. Lock onto your target and then press RT to perform a fast jump attack on your prey. Alright, how do I turn into a cat again? I've forgotten. What's up? I can just kick. Uh, what's the button for cat mode? Not that. Oh, there. Come here! I kill you! Small animal hide. Die, would you? <laughs> it's not dying. Why not? Okay, it's gone now. I think. Wait, it's. What the hell? Why is it pointing there? Oh well. Screw it. It's so funny when it runs. 
It looks ridiculous. I love it. Hedgehog, kill it. Yeah. That's mine now. Should I just stay a cat forever? Wait, how do I get to the witch's place? Yeah, this is not the way to do it, huh? It's a lot faster going uh, the other way. Alright, go back. What's the time? Oh my god, it's already half past five in the evening. And we're hungry. Be hungry. Kitty. I'm just trying all the buttons. <laughs> trying all the buttons. First person kitty mode. This is great. Right, now we just need to get that turbid sap. And we got that stuffed. Oh, I did, don't know where William Dickens is anyway, still. Uh, we already met them, obviously, but uh, I don't remember. She looks like she was in a hurry. Oh, <laughs> I was going to get you. Right, let's uh, cross through here. Looks like there's a gap in the fence, which we've used before, I believe. Uh, I don't want to hang around the witch's forest too long, because, uh, you know, she's creepy in it. This tree? Turbid sap. That's it. Alright, now we just need to... Jesus. Got quite the jump on us. We just need to get back and turn it all in. Although it's getting late. Maybe we'll do it tomorrow. Maybe we should head home. Send back into a human. Being a cat's great and all, but you know. Yeah, it's getting late. Maybe we'll head home, do it tomorrow. Look for William Dickens as well tomorrow while we're at it. Damn, she's so slow when she runs out of stamina. And I never noticed that we're running low. Needs to change her animation when we're running low. So she looks tired. Well, I suppose uh, McAvoy Construction's kind of on the way. So if they're still open, we'll stop in on the way. She's in a hurry, man. I don't know where the hell you're going. People. Thomas Berry, man. Yeah. None of you are the one I need. Hey, dude, I'm back. Mm -hmm. How about I help thee? Materials. Confirm. <laughs> oh, okay, it takes time to do as well. Wow, you really are a pro. You be the object of thy desire. <laughs> Thanks, man. Never seen them, anyone actually make rubber before. And I made two of them, and I only needed one, I believe. <laughs> this one. Bye. Mm -hmm. Aye, to small animal hide. Truer than the darkest of truths. I shall embark on processing the patchwork leather forthwith. <laughs> yeah, go do your thing. I love reading his lines. His lines fill me with joy. You really are a pro. You be the object of thy <laughs> desire. I never knew leather, ma leather making was so artistic. Report back to Elizabeth Dickens. Okay. Dickens. Oh, that's where the, the Dickens guy that we're looking for must be. <gasps> Can I steal this? Yes, potatoes. Man, we're having potatoes tonight. We're eating like kings. We're eating like kings when we get home. Eating like potato kings. <laughs> Man, I'm going to have jacket potato after jacket potato. I'm going to be the queen of jacket potatoes. 
Have you found everything yet? <laughs> yep, it's all right here. Why do you need all this stuff for anyway? <laughs> I'd like to use these materials to make a pair of light, durable shoes. Are you preparing for an adventure? They need to be size five, but I suppose in American sizes that would be five and a half. Huh? Why, but my shoe size is seven and a half. Anyway, I need a pair of size five shoes that are light, durable. Oh, jeez. Whatever. Silly me for expecting you to ever explain anything. You can get light and durable shoes made at Fancy and Bunny. Okay, I'll head straight there. But once I'm finished with this fetch quest, you better spill the beans, you hear me? I like how you call it a fetch quest, so... I'm in on the joke! About video games making you do fetch quests and shit. You're right. When you're right, you're right. Alright, we need to upload some photos to Flamingoose. Make ourselves a jacket potato. Have it eat and go to bed. Because it's late. What a day. What a day of adventuring. Let's cook something. What can we make? Can you just show me things that are cookable? Jack and potato. Guess I'll go with this. Woo! That's all we actually can make. Critical success. It's critical success? What does that mean? It's like a super potato? Woo! I'm stuffed. No, actually, we're really not. Let's have another one. Oh, another critical success. I guess it's still a super potato then. Yeah. Alright, 72. Now we're looking good. Alright, let's get a Flamingos. And uh, upload... That. Which we needed to do for a mission. And then there's that... Rat. We need to upload that because it's tagged for something. 42... 42 pounds. That's good, man. How much money do we need to make? Upload target, read a Barrett. Mission accomplished. <gasps> buzz, that one's a buzz. Well, I guess we're going to bed then, yeah? And tomorrow we'll deal with the uh, making shoes and that. How many hours do you want to sleep? Till morning? Uh, nine? Okay, it's an early bedtime, I know. I'm an old lady, I can't help it. Oh, what's happening? It's full moon! <gasps> when you start to get sleepy, you should get some shut eye in a bed or a tent. Whenever Naomi sleeps, your game will automatically be saved in order to load previous save data. Press menu on the main menu and select load data. Sure. What's the time? It's 11 o'clock at night? Ah. But now I'm not tired. <laughs> Am I go Alright, let's go out at 11 o'clock at night, I suppose. I wanted to sleep through the... It was 7 o'clock when we went to bed, that's the problem. I went to bed too early, like a grandma. Now I'm awake, fully rested, 11.30 at night. <laughs> Fancy and bunny. Obviously we can't do that right now. We can go gather materials or something though, I suppose. Right? Or steal everybody's vegetables at the very least. We can take photos of rats. And meat. <gasps> it's Tuesday, it is. Oh, everybody's an animal again. Team Cat. Shop prices have changed. Nice. Cat with a cute hat. Hello. Just improving my Team Cat, you know, likability ness. <gasps> Stuff. Just gathering free crap now. Can I jump up there? Hang on. Let me go cat mode. I see something up there. And I want it. Glass bead. Cup. 
I'm enjoying roaming around the town as a cat. Especially that I can just like climb up buildings and that. That's pretty cool. Why is there a car lying there? Let's see what else we can like get whatever the trouble we can get ourselves into. I want to climb up someone's house and take the shit off their roof. Well, there's only limited places we can actually climb up, unfortunately. Maybe I should go back home and go to bed. There's not going to be anything we can really do at this time of the day, anyway. At least we got some team cat points. That's the main thing. And we need to wrap this episode up shortly, and I want to... I want to at least get the, hap the, the shoes made, you know? You're the fancy and bunny person, then. Meow. Hello. Well, that's that then. What a meaningful conversation. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure it was. How, how are we going to get the food that we need to actually make proper proper meals as opposed to living on jacket potatoes? Not that I've got a problem with jacket potatoes. Jacket potatoes are great, man. But, uh, you know. In case I want to eat something that isn't a jacket potato. For some reason. Like a crazy person. Well, I'm gonna... What is that? Should we explore that? Alright, let's go find out what that is. Ooh, sticky sap. I'm sure that'll come in handy. I might need to go cat mode again. To leap the fences. Human can't do that. Are these those, uh... Places that we can use to fast travel, because we should go and activate all those, really, shouldn't we? That should definitely be a priority. Oop. Damn, what a jump. I mean, I'm a cat, what do I expect? But come on, that's amazing. Especially since the human basically can't jump at all. We seem to cover more ground more quickly, too. Oop. We've never been this far out of town. Curiouser and curiouser. Eccles Road Shrine. It's a shrine, but you feel no power coming from it. It appears you need to donate one pound to this one. Shrines and the DC Gauge. After you make your first offering to a shrine, you can either choose whether you want to make further offerings to the dogs or the cats. These will determine which way Naomi ends up tilting her dog-cat gauge. Your interaction with the townsfolk will also change depending on which way Naomi's tilting. Uh, cat offering. A hundred? No! Um. Oracle? What does that do? What the hell? Why am I hearing voices in my head now? Shrine mission. The greenest of thumbs. Change your garden layout once. Alright, let's go home. Ten pounds? Alright, whatever. I'm lazy. Luckily for you, I'm lazy. You rip off shrine. Ah, oh, so it's blue once it's been active. Gardening. Guess what? You can plant seeds in your garden. If you plant a seed in your garden and wait over a day, it'll start to grow. Once it's fully grown, you'll be able to harvest it as a material. You can also carry objects into your garden and decorate it as you wish. Your garden can only hold so many objects though, so be careful. How do you... How do you plant them? What should I plant here? Have we got seeds? We do. Potato. I mean, I need more potatoes. If we're going to live on jacket potatoes our entire lives, we need we need to grow some potatoes. We should absolutely be, be planting stuff. Alright, and over here, what do we got? What else have we got? We got rosemary. Cool. Maybe we'll be able to make something even fancier, you know? Once we've grown a bunch of different things. Sage. These are mostly herbs. So we can really spice up that jacket potato, you know. Don't have anything to plant. Well, there you go. Hey! Hey! Come on now. 
Get a plain scone. Didn't know I was carrying that. And dead bull. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm going back to bed. We only need to kill like, uh, shit, what, like four or five hours? Let's go six hours. And then we should be good to head back into town. I want to get these, we'll get the shoes done and then we'll wrap the episode up. Okay. Like, I know we're out of time already, but... Can we at least get the shoes done? Right, what other missions do we have at the moment? Quests. Shutter Junkie. Oh, we still need William Dickens. Alright, let's put that back on, and I don't know why it comes up like that, like it's a new mission every time. Oh, we didn't have any breakfast. Jeez, we didn't have a jacket potato for breakfast. Oh well. We'll have two when we get home, and that'll make it all better. Should we go into the Dickens' home? Is that one there, the Dickens' home? That's where Emily was, right? Yeah, uh, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, not Emily. So... William Dickens, or whatever, must be inside, right? Mr. Dickens? Are you there? Hello? Not a Dickens in sight. Not even Charles Dickens. God damn it. Well, I don't know where I'm going to find him. Let's go get these shoes done then. Maybe then I'll get to meet William Dickens. And then who knows? Who knows? Dude, you're so cool. I'm gonna take a photo of you. He walks funny though. I like that. I like the way he walks. It's very humorous. Fancy and bunny. I guess this is still tutorial teaching us how we can manufacture things. Where's the fancy and bunny person? Hello? That's oh, you. Uh -oh. It's you. What are you waiting for? You need something, right? Charisma went down. Shop changes the price. Need some clothes? Oh, it's well, you. Welcome to fancy and bunny. How may I help you? I need a pair of light and durable shoes. I've got all the materials right here. Light and durable shoes? Hmm? What size? Size 5. You sure? You look like you're around a size 7 to me. Just trust me, they need to be size 5, okay? I've made some pairs of light and durable shoes before, I suppose. And I reckon I still have the design I use for my special running shoes. Are there any clothes you like? £1.15? It's so cheap! So cheap! Wow, you really are a pro. Thanks for waiting. Why does she yawn so much? Yeah, Man, these baby. shoes look badass. If you created your own brand and sold these online, you could probably make a killing. Oh. I've thought about it, but it's a lot of effort. What with trademarks, logos, registrations and the like. I don't think I could ever go to all that trouble for the sake of making some extra money. What a waste. Making money super important, you know. Seriously. And I don't disagree with you, but keeping my life stress-free is more important to me. And I totally am on your side there with, th with that, Virginia. Nonetheless, I'm happy to make clothes and shoes for you, so long as you bring orders to me here. Yeah. I don't think I'll need any new clothes in order to re research a town like this, but I'll keep that in mind. By the way, those shoes are for Elizabeth, right? Seriously? How'd you figure that out? Someone young enough to wear my special running shoes unashamed with size 5 feet? Elizabeth's the only one in town that comes to mind. Seriously? Well, you nailed it. It isn't the first time she ordered these shoes either. What do you mean? Are you trying to say she has multiple pairs of the exact same, ty same type of shoe? I've never once seen her wearing them, though. She always ends up giving them away to someone else. You think she's got a bone to pick with me? Eh, not like I care. Hmm. No, no, this won't do. Tailors aren't supposed to pry into their customers' orders. Here are your special running shoes, just as ordered. Make sure Elizabeth gets them, won't you? Yeah, baby! Okay, leave it to me. Once you buy a total quantity of an item that's available for sale in a shop, it'll become out of stock. But don't worry, they'll eventually restock their wares after some time passes. Just check back in when 
you have some time. Some shops might even expand their selection a bit. But probably not her because she's a dog person and we're a cat person now so they don't seem to like us as much. That seems to be how it works around here. Old man? Who are you old man? Talk to me. Benedict McCauley. Mm. You're not William Dickens. You bastard. Alright, let's head back. If we're real lucky, we'll come across Mr. Dickens, and then we can take a photo, and then we'll get that side mission done on top of this main mission that we're doing. And then everything will be grand. <laughs> Except I didn't have any breakfast, which is less than grand. I'm back. Here you go. One pair of Virginia special running shoes. These really are a fancy and bunny original. I bet these are comfy enough to make anyone want to hop around like a bunny. Yeah, and I'm sure they'll look great on you too. <laughs> Thank you. However, I'd like you to hold on to them for the time being, Miss Haywood. I'll need them eventually, but until then, I'd like you to take care of them for me. Sure, if that's what you want. But you'd better tell me about the town secrets now. Mm. Oh, yes. I'll keep my promise. But... But what? We can't talk here. After all, they might hear us. Mm. They? <laughs> Didn't take you for the paranoid type. What's next? Big Brother is watching? Let's meet in the town square at 11 p.m. 11 p.m., huh? She's gone. Town square at 11 p.m. Ominous. In the town square. First, I have to get her shoes, and now she wants me to go on a late night date. Talk about pushing it. Well, that means we can spend the day doing whatever. But we need to wrap this episode up as well. A handkerchief that Elizabeth gave to me. It has a pretty crest on it. I wonder what it means. Urgent quest. Midnight rendezvous. Which uh, is 12 hours away, so no hurry. Urgent, but not that urgent because it's 12 hours away. <laughs> what is this? Outdoor kitchen? Damn, that's pretty badass. We can have a barbecue and shit. But we're going to wrap this one up here. And the next one, uh, we might run around and try and activate all those um, shrines that haven't been activated. Um, while we wait for 11 o'clock. Might as well, right? But uh, yeah, until then, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you in the next one.